Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 3 whole cube is equal to x plus 2 over 36 Our job is to find all possible values of x So let's start If we multiply both sides by 36 and divide both sides by x plus 3 whole cubed This implies that uh, x plus 2 divided by x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to 36 next x this is 2 can be written as a plus uh, 3 minus 1 divided by x plus uh, 3 whole cubed is equal to 36 now if we consider this uh, x plus 3 as a single term then this can be written as uh, x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 whole cubed minus 1 divided by x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to 36. Now this x plus 3 will be cancelled out and this 3 will become 2. So this will become 1 divided by x plus 3 whole squared minus 1 divided by x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to 36. Now this can be written as 1 divided by x plus 3 whole squared minus this can be written as 1 over x plus 3 whole cubed is equal to 36. Now we suppose that that 1 over x plus 3 is equal to a. So this equation will become a squared minus a cubed is equal to 36. Move this 36 to the left hand side then this will become a squared minus a cubed minus 36 is equal to 0 then this will become a squared minus a cubed minus this 36 is same as 27 plus 9 is equal to 0 this implies that a squared minus a cubed minus 27 minus 9 is equal to 0 and this will become a squared minus a cubed minus this 27 is same as 3 cubed minus this 9 is same as 3 squared is equal to 0. So we make a group of these two terms a squared minus 3 squared and we make another group of these two terms negative a cubed minus 3 cubed. So this will become a squared minus 3 squared we use parentheses to make this a group minus due to this negative sign this uh, a cubed will become a cubed and this uh, negative 3 cubed will become plus uh, 3 cubed is equal to 0 now by using this uh, algebraic identity x squared minus uh, y squared is equal to x plus y times uh, x minus y this a squared minus 3 squared will become a plus uh, 3 times uh, a minus 3 minus by using another algebraic identity x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. This a cubed plus 3 cubed will become a plus 3 times a squared minus 3 times a plus 3 squared is 9 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression a plus 3 is a common factor so we factor out this a plus 3 and in back left 
in bracket left this a minus 3 a minus 3 due to this negative sign this a squared will become negative a squared in this negative 3a will become plus 3a this plus 9 will become negative 9 is equal to 0 next a plus 3 times we write this negative a squared first negative a squared and this a plus 3a will become plus 4 times a negative 3 minus 9 will become negative 12 is equal to 0 from here either this expression a plus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression negative a squared plus 4 times a minus 12 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 3 and from this equation we multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So, this will become positive a squared minus 4 times a plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, a is equal to negative times b is negative 4 plus minus square root of b squared is negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 12 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, a is equal to this will become positive 4 plus minus the square root of negative 4 squared is 16 negative 4 times 1 times 12 negative 48 divided by this 2 times 1 will become 2 and a will be equal to 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 48 will become negative 32 divided by 2 and a is equal to 4 plus minus this root negative 32 can be written as root 16 times root 2 times root negative 1 divided by 2. Next a is equal to 4 plus minus root 16 will become 4 times root 2 and this root negative 1 will become i divided by 2 and a is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 2 plus minus 2 times root 2 i divided by 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 from here we get uh, 2 values of a a is equal to 2 plus uh, 2 times uh, root 2 i and a is equal to 2 minus uh, 2 times uh, root 2 i and first we found that uh, a is equal to first we found that a is equal to negative 3 a is equal to negative 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 1 over x plus 3 is equal to a we have supposed that 1 over x plus 3 is equal to a. So, when a is equal to negative 3 then this equation will become 1 over x plus 3 is equal to negative 3 and if we take reciprocal on both sides this implies that x plus 3 is equal to negative 1 over 3. Move this 3 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to negative 1 over 3 minus 3 can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM LCM is 3 so this negative 1 will come here and 3 divided by 1 is uh, negative 3 
times this three will become negative 9 and from here we get the value of x is equal to negative 10 over 3 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of this equation now when a is equal to this is 2 plus 2 times root 2i then this will become 1 over x plus 3 is equal to 2 plus 2 times root 2i if we take a reciprocal on both sides this implies that x plus 3 is equal to 1 over 2 plus 2 times root 2i and to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by 2 minus 2 times root 2i divide by 2 minus 2 times root 2i next x plus 3 is equal to 1 times this expression will become 2 minus 2 times root 2i divided by this will become 2 squared minus 2 times root 2i whole squared next x plus 3 is equal to 2 minus 2 times root 2i divided by this 2 squared is 4 minus 2 squared is 4 and root 2 squared is 2 4 times 2 will become 8 8 i squared next from the numerator we can factor out 2 in by the left 1 minus root 2 i divided by from the denominator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 2 minus 4 i squared this 2 will be considered with this 2 we are left with x plus 3 is equal to 1 minus root 2 i divided by 2 minus 4 this i squared i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this i squared with the negative 1 and this is equal to 1 minus root 2 i divided by this 2 minus 4 times minus 1 plus 4 2 plus 4 6 move this 3 to the right hand side this will become negative 3 and we can write the denominator 1 take LCM of 6 and 1 LCM of 6 and 1 is 6 this 1 minus root 2 i will come here 1 minus root 2 i minus uh, this is 6 divided by 1 is 6 6 times 3 18 x this 1 minus 18 will become negative 17 minus root 2 i divided by 6 this is the second value of x now when a is equal to 2 minus 2 times root 2 i then we get the third value of x conjugate of this expression negative 17 plus root 2 i divided by 6 and first we found this value of x x1 is equal to negative 10 divided by 3 so we get 3 solutions of this equation